guys welcome back to the channel as you can see we have got some serious torrential floods going on i mean lake fork is up like two foot in a day and a half we needed it It was seven foot low and i don't even live on lake fork but i love it that much uh, a lot of the waterways down here were very very low also but as we're sitting around i'm thinking about doing some videos on things that are that we just kind of take for granted we don't really know what they are and even things that i'm not as up to date or have a, a quite a lot of knowledge on so it gives me a good time to study up on some stuff and one of the things i want to talk about today is ahrs that is attitude and heading reference system that is an aviation term um it in aircraft it, 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 it adjusts the pitch the roll and the yaw, I don't know all about that. Uh, essentially keeps the aircraft stable. Now, how does that affect live scope? What, what does it even have to do with live scope? Well, when you calibrate your live scope um, and you, you, know, you do the one and a half turns and everything like that, what that does is that takes the, um, first of all, it, it allows your system to rep you know to accurately represent north south east and west but secondly what it does what the ahrs does in the live scope system and we're going to take a look at it on the um uh take a look at it on the active captain is that it it keeps your unit from rocking when you get into big waves as your live scope transducer goes up and down if you don't have ahrs on the bottom will tilt back and forth. AHRS stabilizes your image. Now, if you fish on big waters and you don't have it, then you know all about this. Um, it also uh, makes it where um, it at the bottom is accurately represented. Sometimes, um, if you don't have a calibrator, you don't have the ability to calibrate your unit you'll notice that your pitch angle is off. And I have videos where we talk about adjusting the pitch angle uh, when it's not possible to calibrate or you can't get your unit to calibrate. But let's take a look at where AHRS is uh, in your system. We'll take a look at that and, and we'll talk about it and, and talk about the advantages of AHRS. This is just something small. This is just more of an educational piece. Um, a lot of people just, you know, you leave it on but you may have to turn it off in certain situations, and that is to adjust your pitch angle if you can't get your unit to calibrate. So let's take a look at it. And look, it's just a rainy day education system, baby. We cover everything here on the GG channel. Let's go. All right, so let's take a look at AHRS, where it's at in the menu. You go into Sonar Setup, go to Installation, and there you'll see AHRS. Now, we know that AHRS is simply, in this part of Garmin, uh, live scope is simply an image stabilization device. When you calibrate your unit, it stabilizes the image in rough water. But let's go in and say we could not calibrate it. You're able to turn AHRS off. Um, you may find that you get on the bo boat and you see your, your bottom tilted like that. By turning the AHRS off, it brings up a whole new set of menus. Uh, the flipped uh, option and the pitch angle adjustment and you can manually adjust your pitch angle um, if you can't get calibration on. Now the one thing about turning AHRS off is that if you're in big water the boat will the, the bottom will rock up and down because as AHRS is is a stabilization of the image type thing on the live scope. Um, so you want to keep it calibrated if possible, uh, especially if you operate in big water, say Sam Rayburn, Lake Fork, uh, up in the, you know, Lake St. Clair and things like that, the Great Lakes. You want to try to keep your uh, AHRS on and your, and your live scope calibrated. But if you do have to turn it off, there you go. You can turn it off and you can adjust the pitch angle. That's a quick fix. That'll get you through the day. Um, but one thing you will lose is your automatic orientation if you don't have your AHRS on. So guys, there you go. It, it, it doesn't surprise me that Garmin would put an AHRS system on their uh, units. Now, um, knowing that they come a lot from the aviation industry, 
I could see them including on it. And some people um, saying Garm, uh, Lawrence and Hummingbird, you know, they don't, they, 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 they think that Garmin has too much stuff on their system. But when you have a good education and a good understanding of things, you know why things are on there and how it helps your system. When you get out in rough water and that bottom is doing that right there, you don't have to worry about it on Garmin systems, and that's not true on Hummingbird and Lorance. But guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Ring the bell.